I am not encouraging or advising anyone to modify their firearms. This is for entertainment and educational purposes only. What's up everyone? I have ported a bunch of pistol barrels. I think I'm up to like 15 or 16 now. Most of these I've done comparative testing before and after porting to quantify reduction in muzzle flip or stated another way, an increase in performance, along with other testing regarding accuracy and point of impact shift. I've tried a whole bunch of different designs resulting in varying degrees of performance gains and some unforeseen consequences. I have some outstanding questions I want to answer before I settle on a porting design I'm likely to carry forward for all future porting jobs. One of my outstanding questions is, what performs better, more or less total port area? The answer seems somewhat obvious to me. There's so much excess pressure potential energy behind the bullet as it travels down the barrel that more port area will result in more muzzle flip reduction. But of course, I want the data to back this hypothesis up. So let's get into it. This is my CZ P10F. This was the first barrel that I ported. Performance was good, but I have learned that I don't like ports this big due to spalling and jacket separation. And these ports are too close together. I don't really know why I machined it like this in the first place. I'm a little worried about fatigue cracks showing up in this middle thin area here. Anyways, I bought a new barrel and ported it with smaller holes. Coincidentally, the total cross-sectional area of these ports is almost exactly half the total cross-sectional area of these ports. The porting layouts pretty much have the same extents and the distance from the rear port to the chamber and the front port to the muzzle. So this kind of isolates the variable in question of total port area between the barrels and its effect on performance. I'm guessing more port area will result in a lower muzzle flip angle, but how much lower? Does double the port area result in half the muzzle flip angle? I bet not. Is the difference even noticeable or measurable? That's what I hope to answer. Typical experimental setup, uh, data collection and analysis as I have done many times in the past, I'll quickly go over it again. I shot the same ammo, Blazer Brass 115 grain, through both barrels in the same gun in the same day in an attempt to control as many variables as possible. The biggest variation will obviously come from me, a human, doing this shooting. I load seven rounds in the magazine for each test. I collect data from the middle five shots. The first shot allows me to settle into my grip and the last shot, the slide locks to the rear, which changes the recoil impulse slightly. I record the string of shots with a 240 frames per second setting on my camera. I pull the clips into my editing software and slow it down to one tenth speed. I capture a still of the frame before the shot and one of the highest angle of muzzle tilt. I overlay the two images and put them into image analyzing software to measure the angle using the top of the slide as a datum. I repeat this for all five shots in question. I would guess my measurement accuracy is somewhere around plus or minus a couple tenths of a degree with this method. I round the angles to the nearest tenth degree. Let's take a look at the testing. I put my data into a spreadsheet and calculate the mean and standard deviations. For each data set, I make a bar graph where the mean value is the top of the bar and the smaller error whiskers represent one standard deviation above and below the mean value. I will be comparing these using this equation to calculate the absolute percentage difference in muzzle flip angle. I'm not comparing these to the baseline of an unported barrel, so it's not fair to report it as a comparison to muzzle flip reduction from a baseline I didn't capture. The absolute difference in muzzle flip between these ported barrels is between 8 and 20.5%, with the mean absolute difference being 14.8%, favoring the barrel with more total port area. Are you surprised by the results? Because I am. I honestly didn't expect to measure this big of a difference. I really couldn't tell the difference when shooting these two barrels one after the other. I've, I've just had an interesting and 
slightly painful realization. Um, this may relate to a larger conversation of the value of upgrading my firearms. If I can't feel a nominal 15% difference in performance, I must be living in the world of diminishing returns for the time, effort, and money I spend upgrading my firearms. Did I kind of already know this? Yeah. Did I expect data to confirm it? No. Uh, oh. Oh no. Mm, nope. Nope, we're not doing this. We're not having this conversation right now. Not today, Satan. Anyways, that's it for this one. I have one more barrel port design variable testing video coming soon. Someday I hope to make a comprehensive video about everything I've learned from porting all these barrels and doing all this testing. Let me know in the comments if that would be of interest to you. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.